What is up? Risk takers. Welcome to the Kill Beat Strategy. Look who's playing. It's Pete. I want <laughs> we've got we've got an extra meta level on this one because we're playing the meta settings. So uh Europe advanced. Wait, playing the risk meta set Europe advanced progressive. I can't speak. We're playing there's something in my throat there. We're playing the risk meta settings. Europe. Europe. Europe advanced progressive capitals. I'm in the fourth seat playing as red. Uh, gassing cap, pretty sweet, but we won't be taking that. How does the bottom pocket up? So there's the bottom goes through me here. Hmm. Okay, so if I can snag cap, turn one to Nair Alps, and uh, southeastern Europe. Then I, I line into the bottom because I'm not expecting anyone to cap here. I have a, a bunch of great cap spots. So nobody being there is good for me. Nobody being there is good for me. We'll see how the board pockets up. Or I could go. Depends on where we think folks are. So we see blues cap here. I'm almost certainly going to pick Dinaridis. Because Dinaridis controls... The run up from here, the run up from there. Blue I like. Blue controls access to the east through here. What a cool, cool blizzard config. Almost every blizzard is a hard joke with a few additional capitals. We got the Denmark blizzard. We got the, the, the Robot and Cadiz blizzard. We got this, which blocks off with that. Works quite nicely to control access from the east so my problem is going to be if blue gets strong and i'm not in the bottom right looks like white is not actually playing oh no all right folks welcome to the kill Pete strategy i am pete if you don't know who i am i'm a top risk player i talk about philosophy um on the show i talk about game theory i talk about strategy try and share a little bit of thoughts in the game and send love down to all of you guys while doing it. These are the risk meta settings. We're playing Europe Advanced Progressive Capitals, Auto 60 Expert, Balance Splits Dice, Automated Bot, Fog Lizards on, Portals Lines Off. I'm in the fourth seat. The blue player is a Nixio flying the flag of Hungary. He's trying to take the plus eight. Are we going to be putting enough troops on our capital? Yes. We're going to leave five troops on our cab. Okay, does Green smack it? <laughs> he left it open. Yeah, Green just smacked his cap, lost seven troops. That cap is open for business. Do I steal the blue capital instead? Lost seven. How many troops remain? What am I going to start with? No, I, I think I go with my original plan because I go ahead of orange. I'm going to go add to the two, go pop, pop, pop. Orange is going to see that I have all this and take Italy, we hope. Um, what is a bot? Yeah. We lost some on the first case. Seven came out of where? Oh, man. There's a cap in... White's cap is here or here? I got decisions to make, folks. Have lots of decisions to make. Okay, so I'm gonna let Orange have Italy. I wonder if he lets me have both. We got six on the cab. See how that does. does. If Orange takes Italy, I'm happy. Oh, he's going to break from the bottom line. No. He's going to take Africa. Ooh. Ooh, does he have that? All right, Orange thinks we're going to be friends. Orange should have taken Italy. I don't think I want... Well, do okay. Do I care if Orange has this instead? Not really. If I hold that, I can take Spain. Turn to where's purple? Do we see purple? Purple's in Spain. Okay, purple's in Spain. 
And I'm going to pop my one. Not. Do we think we have a corner cap in purple? Okay, so blue does. This is the thing. Green didn't. I, I, that's exactly why I didn't break the um, plus eight. Now he's going to go into green. Right? Blue is fucking up green shit. Oh, this is so interesting. Okay, so I'm given this board. Yeah, green lost their capital. Okay. <laughs> Green quit from that, or is green going to try and live? He's quit too. Okay, so we've lost white, we've lost green. Blue is going to be really strong in the east. I'm actually pincer between orange and blue, uh, which means it doesn't make sense for me to let green, or let blue hold the plus eight. I'm also getting plus eight. That's a tricky spot. White back now. Okay. We lose a four to a seven here. It. All right, having white bot strong in the top left is good for me. My available space to expand is Orient. Okay. Okay, we specifically don't break orange. Cool with orange. Remove. Prioritize removing blue. Yeah, I don't break orange on purpose. He does have a plus three, so that should encourage orange to go back this way. He's adding to defend. Yes, takes Italy. Even doesn't even expand from there. All right, orange is happy with a plus three. Okay, purple get nine, because purple, I think purple has a Portugal cap, so let's, let's call the caps. So we saw blue, figure green. Uh, I figure either white or white. Purple <laughs> figure is here, um, and those are the caps. So my guess on this would be Oslo, but it was a bot pick, so you never know. I, I predict the caps look like that at this point in the game. Okay. You guys want to do Q and A? Let's do a Q and A. People ask me questions on Discord. And I like to answer them one a stream because that's the way in which they seem to actually get done. We're trying to keep this list from getting massively, massively long, but it's almost impossible. Benajog, 24-7, would like to know. Hey, Pete, love all the videos. Keep it up. I love you too. My question for you is, do you think a four-day work week is something that might actually become a real thing? And do you think it would make us lazier or would it make us as a society more driven to work harder by giving us an extra day of rest? Great question. Uh, the paradigm of... Connecting a person's right to exist with that person's labor is archaic and dying. Um, the sooner we can transcend that paradigm, the better, because with automation um, and AI, we are rapidly approaching the place and time where the average person will be unable to provide productive uh, value via their labor. Um, so, um, the four-day work week, there's a lot of data to suggest within the current paradigm that um, people are more efficient if they, if they have less time. And there's, there's, a, there's a lot of data to suggest that after, you know, with a 40-hour work week, let's say, um, only 30 hours of that are productive or whatnot. So, so given all that, um, as a business, you would want to incentivize what is the most productive um, means by which your citizen, citizen, citizenry can get things done. Um, This is where we go bad to blue. 
blue isn't even there. That'll cost them. Hopefully they overextend it into green. Red's gonna go down. Yeah, me and red stay cool, ideally. Uh, so four day work week, yeah. Do I think it will actually become a thing? I don't know. Um, a lot of our institutions work on inertia. I think institutional inertia is one of the most important concepts to understand why the world is so fucked. Institutions tend to um, eventually have a vested interest in their own continuation um, outside of the ethos for them existing originally. Okay, purple's in there. Purple's at war with orange, which is great. Probably behind orange pits, orange between me. So purple, purple, orange, orange is bad for orange long term. And I broke blue, so blue has 10 now. Yeah. Blue's expecting me to be good with them, but I have no reason to. I'll leave their cap locked there, and then they won't be able to hold Russia or Eastern Europe anymore. So I'm trying to contest. This is the turn where I bank troops. Is that green's final position? I stay cool with orange for as long as I can. But I think purple would have broken orange here in Africa. White getting 11. Two, three, four, five, six, yeah. Okay, so white still has their cap. That's the other angle of attack I could move into. Spot white hat. Does that eight hit my three or does it is it a taker? Don't open the blue cap. Okay, now that's France. Ah, oh, shit. All right, let's let's beat the shit out of one. Also, slider properly. Do we think it is Oslo? Ooh. Oh, it is Oslo. And green has it. Uh, blue, rather, has it. No, it isn't. <laughs> it's an Iceland corner cap. All right, so we get a second cap here. Um, and we're going to fortify troops to it. Yeah, green's final position might be in... Uh, Russia. Okay. What did orange get? Or yeah, orange got broken. Okay, so purple is gonna fuck up orange's shit now. This is a twelve stack because there's a cap in also. So we we found another cap. My prediction is now purple's cap could be Portugal. It could be in Africa. So one or the other. So there's a purple cap somewhere. There's orange. There's me. There's blue confirmed. I have the white cap, and I'm pretty sure the green cap is there in Oslo. Yeah, there's purple. Okay, don't break me. Yeah. Thanks. Well played. All right, so now I'm friends with purple. Who's going to try and retake? Why am I me? Not going to overextend to retake them. Ricky board. I want that green kill now. Unless green sets on four. Yeah. Blue's just going to retake. They want that plus eight. Yeah. I don't think there's any upside for me letting you have that. Back to capital. All right. Green sets. Takes the four. Two, three. Yep. There's the green bar. I mean, I have the white kill if they don't set as well. If white bot set. That kill white set is on the table. Yeah, they set. Never mind. Don't do that. Oh, please break blue. <laughs> please break blue. Then I don't have to do it. Yeah, I was going to break me instead. Takes France. Ooh, breaks Italy. Mean. Mean. Okay. Cool. Cool. That's fine. 25. 
Oh, that works. This. Antagonize blue. Yeah, orange going into the purple pocket? No, he breaks friends. Kind of in the middle. So I need to beat blue. Maybe I shouldn't have antagonized him when he had five cards, but I could reciprocate it. We do have a set follow up set. That's good. Thank you, Joker. Where's purple going now? Purple going into Italy. <coughs> ah, purple thinks they have the orange kill, which they do not. I have the orange kill for free. Great. Orange dies. Needs me five cards. Good. That will help me. Okay. Can I? This going to be set kill orange, set kill white, set, and then I'm in a three player. Oh, green's also here. Set kill orange set. Okay, blue trades. Breaks me. Does he have the green kill? I think we see green die here. And then blue sitting on five cards. Fails the green kill? Oh, he has it. Won't set him, though. Good enough. I'll give uh, white the lower place. Can I? Will I have the troops to do that? I'll try to give white the lower place. Eight troops. Why? Because of Germany. Bonding out turn one should not earn you any additional point. Yeah. Plus four. What is the cap? Too bad. Okay. I don't actually think that's the play. I think we... Let's try. Let's try to be a homie. Who's weaker? They're both on five cards. I don't actually think I have the blue kill. Yeah, I'm in a three-player game. Mm. Let's see what purple does. Can't actually address either of these guys, because I made those kills too early. Purple's just going to slowly hit me. No, purple plays for second. Thank you, purple. Well played. Well played. Force me to kill fucking blue. I'm down with that. Taking second here is fine. Now I'm in a 1v1 against blue and then I'll be easy. 
easily able to beat purple. Okay, blue's gonna open my cap. Ha! Huh. Okay. See if Purple continues to play for a second, because that will end this game very quickly. This is three on a one. He does continue to play for a second. Fuck yeah. All right, guys. <laughs> Pete wins the game. <laughs> Pretty sure. We can sack kill blue here. Ooh, no. Lucky blue with the cards. He's going to go around the outside now. I can still kill him. Now there's less, uh, less upside. Oh, he locks off his capital. Oh. Let's see where the purple cap is. It's in Portugal, isn't it? Nope. There it is. Okay. Okay, takes the 40 trade. Wants to retake his cap? No, he still wants to play for a second. Okay, I like this. Does a 68 move? Both having both of these guys lay down is just uh there it is. Okay. Good. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Alright, he's gonna open the blue cap. The like, gosh shit. <laughs> yeah. You're in trouble now, so don't worry. I'll give you. I'll give you a second. I'll give you a second. I have the blue cap. If I'm blue, I don't take a card here. It doesn't matter, I'm still killing you. Okay. Good job. Purple's just too slow. Kind of playing with my food now. These guys need to hit me a lot earlier to try and play to win. All right, five troops. No sad. You don't get far either. All right, who's got the set on three? <laughs> Which one of these guys has the set on three, folks?
Good game. Hoppa. Seven on three. Doesn't matter. He does. Hmm. Should have killed you. Attempt to cap run. Lose twenty five on twenty five cap. It <laughs> goes very positive. Lose thirteen on a twenty five cap. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's at this point it has become a meme. <laughs> Good work, the beach. Nice quick one, folks. Very decisive. Quick game. Feels good. Fucking zoos out into my cap for some reason. <laughs> Perfectly thought you were good. What the fuck? And there you have a ladies and gentlemen. I would like to see a four-hour work week. I'd like to see a world where we are not forced to toil to justify our right to exist. Right? I would. I would like to see a world where the the fruits of our technology are shared by all, um, at least to a standard of a decent minimum. So that's how I would answer the question. Would it make us lazier? No. Incentives are not necessarily material, right? People have all sorts of incentives. I never started this project with an incentive for material gain. And I think if I did, um, the project itself wouldn't be authentic. So the difference is I experienced material gain because I was passionate towards this, whatever artistic endeavor training video is. Um, and I think the, um, the attitude that giving people enough to live so they're not struggling all the time. Uh, I think the attitude that that will, um, make them lazy is a fundamentally cynical attitude that I do not care. Folks, thank you for watching, uh, defeating two beginners, two intermediates and an expert. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Hope you found some of it fun and entertaining, maybe even a little bit educational and informative. If you are interested in getting better at the game of risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channels. Come along the ride with me. I have a daily show on this channel. Kill Pete strategy. I have a daily show on free Pete for all of you on the path to world domination. Good games and good luck.